The scripture says, God saw all that he made and it was very good. Brothers, I want you to replace the name God with your name. So I'll do it. As D saw all that he made and it was very good. Brothers, I got a few questions for you. What do you see? Do you see anything you have made? And if so, is it good? Brothers, real pleasure was never meant to come from woman. Real pleasure was meant to come from what you make, from your creative mind, from your creativity, from what you manifest. That's what real pleasure was intended to come from. Let's talk about it. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Brothers, the woman is meant to be a help me. Uh, the woman is to uh, help you manifest, to build community, to build family, to help you along your mission. And your mission should be to create. And that's where the real pleasure comes from. Having a thought, having an idea, going through the process of manifesting it, and then bringing it to fruition and making it something tangible. That's where the real pleasure lies. Because if you are getting or think you're getting the highest level of pleasure or sensation by being with a woman, you're cheating yourself. You have not even tapped in and living life to its fullness or getting the fullness out of life. And, and, and let me tell you what's even more uh, pleasurable when you can come together with the right woman and take an idea or thought and you two go through the process together of manifesting that thought and then you both see it become something tangible. That's the best feeling. And that's the best sex, really. The sex you're going to have after you two create something together is the best sex. I got a buddy, and this buddy is a is a buddy I met through my brother Soul, Soul Immortal. Uh, and I have to thank Soul Immortal uh, for all, man, just all the help he's given me on my platform, allowing me to come onto his platform uh, many times. And so I'm very grateful to my brother Soul. If you're not following him, if you're not subscribed to his channel, Soul Immortal, man, you're cheating yourself. You're missing out. Also, uh, go to my, my bio or go to the description and check out the link to the Power Circle. The Power Circle uh, meets uh, usually, typically on Sundays. Uh, to, uh, this week we met on a Tuesday but typically on a Sunday, Sunday around 8 p.m. Central. And uh, Soul Immortal is the creator, the host, the moderator of the power circle. And that's that's just brothers coming together, the minds coming together and creating and building and sharing and healing. And so uh, go to that link and support the power circle. Now, I met a homie. I became friends with a guy uh, through Soul our brother, Lane Kid. Now, Lane hit me up a few days ago. He sent me a text message, and uh, I opened up the text, and the text was a picture of his graduation gown. And, man, I, I, I told the brother how proud I was of him, and I knew he was going to graduate. Uh, he had gave me a heads up months ago, and he told me, you know, around this time, man, I'll be graduating. And, uh, and he did it. He did it, and uh, I was proud of the brother. But something really stood out about the text. Brothers, I lie to you now. I could feel the energy coming through the phone. I could feel his energy, what he was feeling, coming through the phone. And, and check this out. I know that was only, only an inkling of what he was feeling. I didn't get the full vibration, the fullness of his feeling coming through the phone. I only got an inkling through text. And that's how powerful 
that pleasure was. And I'm telling you, brothers, I haven't spoken to Lane about this, but I'm willing to bet Lane has not experienced an orgasm that was more pleasurable than what he's feeling right now by graduating. He had an idea. He had a thought. He went down that road of manifesting that thought, and now it's something that's tangible, and there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. And I'm telling you, brothers, if you're not creating, if you're not building, you're wasting your life away. You're not even getting a little bit out of this life you're supposed to be getting. There's no feeling, there's no pleasure like creating. Now, even when I was creating a toast to the man, when I was writing it, I got a feeling I never had. I got a pleasure I never received or, or felt. When I held the manuscript, there was another feeling, another pleasure I had never felt. But when I actually held the finished product, man, I'm telling you, brothers, there's no orgasm that can beat it. And I'm a married man, but I'm just being real with you. There's no orgasm I've ever had that can beat that feeling. And what's so crazy about it, when you create, you keep getting the pleasure over and over because it's something tangible. It's something people can see. People can constantly invest in, subscribe to, follow, and they keep, you know, uh, supporting and engaging. And so you get that feeling again. Every time someone says, hey, man, your book did this for me. A toast to the man did, did this for me. I just purchased a toast to the man. I get that feeling all over again. Any orgasm I had was a fading effect. It faded. Any orgasm I had faded. This is the pleasure that keeps giving and keeps coming back over and over and over. There's nothing like it. Another thing that's greater than, than, than being with the woman sexually is the creation of your child. Again, that's creating though. There's no feeling like seeing your child born. No feeling like it. Think about that. Why is there no feeling like it? It's greater than at the actual uh, act of being with the woman is seeing your child birth, seeing a creation, seeing a being that was nothing and then it was something. And now it's tangible. You can touch it and hold it. There's no feeling like it. So that's why we're here, brothers. This is why we're here. We are here to create, we're here to manifest, we're here to procreate, subdue the earth, create community, create family. We're not here to get pleasure from a woman. That's a byproduct, of course. I'll be the first to admit there's pleasure. There's pleasure with being with the woman, no doubt. But that's not why you're here, and that is not the, the, the greatest pleasure. The greatest pleasure is you using your mind, you having a thought, an ideal, and bring that thing to fruition. There's nothing like it. So, man, if you're not creating, start creating. Start today. Get off your butt. Get out of your depression. Get out of your excuses. Start creating. I'm telling you, brothers, even the feeling my wife and I had, Yaya and I had, because she was a part of the process too. She was the editor. And she had never edited a book, although, you know, in, in college her major was English and her minor was technical writing. She had never edited a book. I had never uh, published a book. Uh, and so it was a first for us. But, you know, I knew the quality of work I wanted to put out. I pushed her, I pushed me. It got tense. You know, uh, I think I fired her maybe five times, you know, she was upset with me, maybe six times, and uh, raised, uh, voices were raised, but I knew I had to push her and push me to get the best out of us, and I knew I wanted uh, my product to be just as, as good as uh, the big time publishers, and so we did everything our, ourselves. We funded everything ourselves, but I knew you know, I can compete with the big dogs for as far as quality, maybe not reach, but as far as quality, I knew if I put my best foot forward and, and I put, and she put 
and she put her best foot forward, we would compete quality wise. And that's what we did. And I'm telling you, brothers, when, once we got that, that, that first uh, box of books, man, I think we purchased 80 books. And once we got those, um, the feeling, the energy that was between us, looking at those books, I can't explain it. Even if I tried, I wouldn't be doing it any justice. Uh, but that was greater than any sex we'd ever had. That feeling of watching something we did together, we brought to fruition, we made tangible a thought, a thought that started a year prior and we worked on it. We worked on it. You know, we, we, we clashed sometimes. We forgave. But we made it happen. And to look over that, there's no orgasm that can match that. And yes, we had the best sex we ever had that night. And that was all from <laughs> viewing something, the energy that was between us, viewing something we created together. Brothers, don't cheat yourself, man. I'm telling you, it's in you. We are all creators, all of us. No more excuses, right? No more excuses, man. No more laziness, no more depression, no more low self-esteem, none of that, man. Get out there, create whatever it is that's in you. We all have our own God gift, gifts and talents. Get on it, man. Get to working on it. You'll thank me later. Hey, as always, from me to you, love, peace.